Hello everyone and welcome back to my tutorial and today we will see how we can export our model to the Unreal Engine. Yes, this is Unreal Engine and we will import uh, our send from 3ds Max to Unreal Engine. So in this tutorial I will focus on the 3ds Max and the next one I will focus on the Revit. So let's talk about 3D Max first. If you have the model uh, in 3D Max and you are using the Corona material or V-Ray material, this is fine. So it doesn't matter Corona or V-Ray, you can export it from the uh, 3D Max and import it to the um, Unreal Engine. So I think this is about talking enough. And let's I'll show you how you can do it and what the great result you can get. And first thing we should export our model. I will go to 3D view and I will hide everything what I no need. For example, I no need the camera for, for now, right? So let's hide it and now I will um, switch. I mean, I will hide the, my curtain because here are too many polygons. If we will check our polygons uh, on the curtain, uh, we can see now we have one million polygons. Polygons, and let's hide this one. Uh, you should delete, and uh, you will reduce the number of polygons. If I will delete, it's around uh, two. 200 200,000 polygons so it's actually this is a lot I will hide it and I will hide it all for Nisha except uh, except this lamp let's hide them and what else uh, I will go to the tools with Stan exporter and I will hide all the silly as all the light I don't need it now so let's Let's hide it and of course the um, camera. So everything else is okay. I think so. Yeah. Now I will select everything. Oh, where is my. Uh, where actually is my ceiling? Uh, oh, it's here. So I will select everything and right uh, to. I will go to the uh, export. Uh, export selected. And I already installed the plugin. Uh, I will I will leave the link uh, to this plugin uh, for the 3 ds Max, and we will get the new format for our um, 3 ds Max, like Unreal Data Smith. Okay, so uh, I will find now my lesson. Uh, let's use the Corona and export. Here, I have export. I will I will create the export. Okay, nice. Uh, let's call it like uh, uh, test one. Okay, awesome. And let's save it. And now uh, Data Smith asking us like uh, what you want export selected one or visible object. Because I select what I want export, I'm using the selected one. And okay, just few seconds now. Uh, this is converting to Data Smith, and after that we can. Yes, as you see now, we just uh, lose one material. <coughs> this is portal one. Uh, I doesn't matter. Uh, I, I don't matter about the portal one because uh, it's only for the light in uh, Corona. Oh, actually, uh, I need hide it here. We will reload it now again uh, because this one it's uh, only for the light for in 3D Max. So I will re I will. Ex it again like this and save yes yes okay now it will mm, a bit more faster so let's go back to the uh, uh, to the uh, unreal I will delete this uh, mesh uh, and now we need loaded uh, our room so here we get the already new button import data smith let's it let's import it uh, i will go to the my where is it it's here i'll go to the my folder export it's here 
and I will import it. And now uh, Unreal asking us what where you wanna uh, put it. I will create new folder and let's call it again test one. Test one and let's say okay. And again okay. Again just ah now um, now actually uh, they asking us like what you wanna import. Uh, geometry materials of course I no need to import the any lights and the cameras and the static mesh options about the lighting ma mm, lighting map production so uh, we don't care about now resolution because we want just see our geometry uh, we can uh, we can uh, how say it uh, build uh, uh, our light map uh, a bit later so let's import that Okay, here is our mesh, and as you see, uh, the in Unreal still compelling the shaders. Shaders. So what does it mean? Uh, he now uh, just uh, uh, using the our texture. You you will see it's here, and trying to convert to Unreal. As you see now, it's nothing here, but we are we are not here the glass. And after the finish uh, compiling, oh, you see now the converting to the Unreal texture. So let's wait until it's finished and let's continue after that. And here we are now after saving of course and as you see glass it's glass and let's wait. <laughs> and our floor using the really same decking what I'm using in Corona. Really awesome. So and let's let's make some uh, changes here like uh, my light will be here I want to put it like this and maybe a bit lower okay and now I will use the rotate let's rotate it maybe like this and let's do like this and a bit I will rotate like this Let's see. Uh huh. Let's change the position because I want to change the position. Yeah, it's bad position for me. I will change position to here and okay, like this. Because I want to show you the uh, shading for and light map from the sun. So as you see, we have now preview because we need uh, build uh, production quality quality of the light I will do it now it's will take uh, about the it's it will take the time and after that I will come back to you and as you see it's already finished uh, we don't have any errors it's really amazing thing because before I was had the like 10 errors but now it's everything okay uh, as you see the uh, light now don't have the, any preview but it's not the final quality as you know the unreal it's a really great engine and uh, you can you can do whatever you want with this engine so i just using now standard things as you see uh, what we get inside really it's okay it's not bad really i like it uh, here our all materials what i'm using for example this is our decking uh, i mean the flo floor planks Actually, we need play uh, with this material because now its material doesn't look like uh, decking. I mean, don't have any glossness. We need a bit roughness uh, of the. Uh, we need correct roughness of this material. But for now, it's okay. So uh, this is not tutorial, guys. Don't forget about this. I'm just showing you like uh, some new soft, uh, new way. To show your ideas to maybe you want to go after architects you want to go to game design who knows or you want to go to the uh, VR engine uh, VR something stuff or it, maybe you want to just uh, show to your client uh, some new new way to I don't know like inspiration or something else anyway uh, let's uh, load up here the furniture um, Let's say so far. Let's let's do that. I will just sorry. I will just isolate it. And uh, now I'm selected the sofa. 
uh, export, export selected, uh, like let's say sofa. Uh huh. Save. Now we just should wait just few seconds. Before we are waiting, I will say, uh, most of you will say like, uh, why we should use Unreal or why we should try Unreal. We have the Lumion. Don't forget guys, Lumion cannot work with the Vertex. So let's say you want to make a, a curtain and uh, in video, right? In Lumion. And let's say you want to like a uh, curtain will move like, why, uh, like wind going inside. You cannot do that because Lumion not understand how working Vertex, but Unreal, that understand. Okay, this really uh, lyrics, or uh, we will finish my lyrics and let's import our sofa inside this project. So, uh, where is my tutorials and export and this my sofa. It's only uh, seven. <laughs> 7 kilobits so I will put it here I will leave everything same just let's wait like few seconds actually not few seconds because now uh, Unreal rendering uh, the light map the transferring the color I mean transferring materials to Unreal and uh, changing a bit uh, geometry of our object actually triangulate them Okay, here we are, and I wanna see my sofa here. Where is my sofa? Let's put it inside. Where is my? I cannot see. Aha! Uh -huh, this is outside. Uh, it's only about the pivot point. It's okay. As you see, we have the location here, and let's make zero, 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 and let's do the same for this object. Zero, zero, and it's here already zero. And let's say for that one. Actually, I want to do it for everything and I want to see how it's working here. Uh, let's select everything what we have now. Test one. Zero, zero, zero. Aha, uh -huh. I did wrong because I should uh, choose only test. Let's say, where is my test one? Here. Zero, oh sorry. Zero, zero, zero. And let's check it. Oh, yeah, really nice. But <laughs> this one is wrong now. Uh, I will back till I... Till I trying to change my sofa position. Uh-huh, like this. And now I will do say everything same, but only with object, not sub-object. Here my object. And let's say 0, 0, and 0. And let's do the same for the sofa and it's already zero let's go inside and now it's everything on the right position uh, my sofa has some texture as you see it's totally white but texture we have the texture and um, let's change a bit the sun direction because I want to put it like to the sofa I mean the light uh, rotate let's rotate them like this and I will uh, now render uh, be uh, light to production quality and I will back when it will finish and as you see we already finish our render um, I moved to my uh, table because uh, I wanna like show you all the stuff and that's why it's now preview because I changed the table with stuff on the table anyway this is uh, how it looks without any settings uh, just um, just basic one thank you for watching guys and see you next time